mi gangan la lo ba e li ba mi to family mi so e je ke mi to family keyin lo wa justice e jo kini family fe tu oro ogun ni but donation ni baba tun sure man so donation e ma e kin so e ma e kin so e ma e kin so i'll be waiting for that comedy tomorrow i'll be waiting for it minutes or minutes or ah no 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 my panelists okay. this night my panelists this night you guys are <laughs> almost on point i want to ask what are the processes to obtain a court order a general court order for dna for dna i'm guessing it will be like it will be the same for getting it basically getting a court order is you going to court and asking that you want something to be done and exactly. then you have to provide yes. you have to provide the reason why it should be given to you just like people would go to court and say i want custody of my child yes. and then you have to provide the reason that okay maybe you are separated and the child lives with your wife uh, with the mother the mother is a drug addict or is not so you have to provide reasons why they should grant you that order basically that's just what it is so going to get DNA for a uh, court order for DNA would mean you bring evidence to say that because the child has a right. The child has a right that his information is not made public because whatever comes out of this DNA would go public either way. Or let me not even say that way, on the side of Baba anyway, they will publish Brother, it. The question so, is this, how expensive is it to get a court order? I don't think it's expensive. I, I'm not sure about that, but you know, it shouldn't be something expensive. It's just filing filing a, a court order. Now. You go file for it and then you go to Is court. it up to 100,000 there? No, 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 no. <laughs> All you need to do <laughs> is to just go to the court. In fact, let me tell you something. For them to even register the case before the court is less than 20,000 naira. Hmm. It's less than 20,000 naira. But the processing is what you see their lawyer no and ponder pause and ponder ah god that, you see the uh, thing uh, is moderator if you are there please do that justice because we want to discuss about this dna issue because i don't believe that they have started anything concerning that court order it is something very easy to do baba is clamoring for dna yet He's not doing anything. You see, uh, okay. oh yeah, good. We have very okay. good panelists have, now. He's here now. Okay. Okay. Um, I sorry, that just... British babe. Okay. 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 No, that British babe, you are about. Well, okay. I was just go going to say quickly that. Um... So that now, post and ponder. Aaron, the last question here. And let me take. Okay. I'm yeah, I was just going to say that um, it's obvious that the lawyers know that they do not have a tenable or tangible reasons to make such requests. It's not even about the price or the process, but I mean, based on what, what is the grounds on which they will be requesting for such order? And uh, we can see that's why they've been trying all this fine tuning. That's why it has gone from the masses want to know to, okay, if you remember where he said, what's in Loche placenta, like that they have gone to do placenta, that Mobad said they have gone. So I wouldn't be surprised if the story next story will he can even come next to say that oh his son also had doubts about the paternity, but there's still no enough grounds, and that's why they've been stalling. You can see how, I, I want to even believe that the lawyers are aware that they, they should go through the right process. Look at how long it took them, November 25th until they could even contact the lawyer to start with. Not because they don't know. I want to believe that the previous lawyer that Mr. Aloba had issues with, it's possible he might have told him that these things, it doesn't work that way. But no, they have to find a way to just make it happen. And that's why now when they bring that narrative of DNA, I don't even tell them it is not their right. I say go get the court order. So let the court determine if it's your right or not. That's what okay. I 
Okay, thank you, Dad British Bay. Pause and ponder. Please help us make a very good explanation on how to get a court order for DNA. What are the processes involved? How expensive is it is? What are the requirements and things like that? Pause and ponder. Over to you, sir. Uh, um, uh, good evening. Uh, actually, anybody will only file anything in court. Baba Mobad only file anything, but and got to call in Lati Shenny be kill lawyer by file a motion expertise. Right? And continue off a one causing no motion expertise. Meanwhile, what could form defense lawyer? I mean, Fala no Lati ma contest there. Right? One they contest there, one they ma contest, but T one back contest there, no, you don't have right. Right, pay Baba Mobado, ne right. O she shake it, cut it, Judano. But you want back off a file. You uh, want back approve because Fala not to make his statement to clear. Only Fala no court is section 57 of a Child Right Act, Lagos State Child Right Act. Pay Baba Mobado, ne right. Lati request it for DNA. Moro pe eh ran ti pe fala na oko nigbati pe ko ni right but nevertheless pe okay if you want to only eh uh, won ni lati lo si court si call of file a uh, motion lori pe ko ko na won kokan won ko san wo processes ni pe okay a fe file e ye bayi a fe file e ye bayi won san wo fun court O wa ku fun won boya baba mo ba lo fe lo stand before the court or lawyer lo fe stand obviously to ba gba lawyer lawyer na agba eye kan o le ma gba ju 50000 lo or less than that so be a yan kan se son be yen pe ko ko no won up to 100k ko 200k just that baba mo ba knows pe omo yi pe omo won ni and if you listen to what he was saying, near door berekete, he established two things. He be, uh, only Omo Mobad. He still call him Liam, near Omo Mobad. Right? But at a point, placenta, placenta, lo finjo, lo njo ma DNA, be, uh, omi, be, Eating one fig be plan center for one want it be fun and it all lama. Shema ko sin ko kon la ti prove when yakbe o be fun to lama biko be fun to lama. But basically, the eh to to la ti get a court order ko no anybody in kaka ko no anybody in kaka kaka file motion expertise ko de so iditi court it board of it grant or what. She uh, get in Gotimo on Trusosa. They did this as the reason why they should grant them the, so 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 they uh, pay on one very DNA. So, what could fun discretion court? Lati Shema. Court, let's talk about are you the father of the of the of the child? And you know, she at uh, get in Gotimo on Trusosa. Yes, we are with you. We are with you. Uh huh. Go know anybody in Kokon? Just go to the court process section. Uh, uh I court. One, 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 some will court. What's it on? We have more robo to ten thousand. More robo ma to ten thousand naira. That is some will. That is then. Why they be lost the process? Why sign the court if on? Okay. Okay. Um. My next question will be will be to Oluwatosun and ex Capit. What do you think could be the reason why why Mr. Loba is stalling to get a court order? Okay, the thing is this, yeah, for me and from experience with a client of of mine, the thing is it is easy, just like Post and Ponder said, for anybody to approach the court. It is very, very easy. But what you are presenting before the court, is it even as admissible in the court of law? That is one. And I think the lawyers 
which they've given to Baba over time would have given their their submission and analysis about what Baba is trying to to get. Because the thing is, even if they try to get an ex parte order in the court, it has to be signed by a judge. And before a judge would actually sign any order, there has to be it has to be at least reasonable. And you know, it is something that if it is contested according to the law, is this something that you know the 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 court wants to to entertain? So I believe the lawyers having known this fact, they know that this is not something that can hold water in the in the court of law. And <clears throat> if not, maybe for connection or anything, they might not see or get any judge that will sign of the DNA because even for the court to even issue or order or sanction women to go and do the DNA, they would need to even question Mumi. It has to come before the judge. Mumi would need to defend herself before the court would now give their directive. And don't forget the fact that if it is the court that is telling the that is mandating Mumi to go and do the DNA, then it is the result comes to the court, not to Baba. Because now the court is going to even ask Baba, okay, this DNA result, what do you want to use it for? Because if it is in a, in a situation whereby Baba is the one in charge of the old will and estate of Mobad, and Wumi is now claiming that no, at least something must come to Liam, then Baba is now saying, before I can give you anything, you need to go and do DNA so that I can be sure that Liam is the son of Mobad. That is another thing entirely. But in this case, Wumi is not requesting anything from Baba. So Baba does not even have the 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 should i say like maybe even the legal the, the legal right according to the law to mandate for me to come and do any dna so i believe that is one of the reason why they have actually been stalling because they know that it is going to be effort in futility and don't forget the fact that they are actually going against one of the best legal practitioner one of the best law firm in nigeria which is the fallano and fallano chamber so even bringing it before any judge and they know that in defense it is fallano they are going to face such judge will try to be very very careful so i think that is one of the reasons that is stalling them in this case thank you god bless you thanks for that i'm, I'm, loving, I'm loving my i'm loving my panelists this night for next Mr. Should, I go, should i go on okay. PMP, please uh, hold on. Uh, PMP, PMP. Uh, I just want to address the Mr. Oluwa Tosin. Mr. Oluwa Tosin, what happens is this? If uh, it's not the judge that will sign the expert, it's the process, right? Because if the judge refuses, judge will never refuse to take money. They don't pay to the judge. They will pay to the process after the post process has collected all the money that they're supposed to pay then they will now transfer it to the court for maybe for argument or whatever you get what i mean Hello? okay yes yes i understand you yes i understand you i understand uh -huh. you that's what i want to contribute anyway Okay. Okay. Um, uh, cap it over to you. Yeah. What I think is, I mean, they, 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 I don't think they, they can even go around. They, they, they can go about it using ex parte. They have to go inter parties. Um, basically, what ex parte order is that you want you want a judgment without the other party being involved. Basically, so that is what ex parte is. So in this case. If he writes, if he goes ex parte and saying they don't know, they, they want the judge to decide based on the merit of the argument in their filing, the judge would know that obviously there must have been a dispute. So, because if there's no dispute, you don't need to come to the to the court. You can take, you can discuss with your daughter-in-law to go and have the DNA done. But in this case, you are coming to the court to say you want the the DNA of your of your grandchild done. One, the, 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 the child is a minor. The consent can be given by the parent. So obviously, 
they wouldn't go ex party. They would do the interparties on where they would call them will meet as well. They will be in the court and they will argue for and against. And this is if the Mumi's lawyer want to go the legal, the full legal route and say, okay, now let's argue why you would not give you this order. So he would need to prove one if he has the locals to the local standing to request for it. Then two, he would have to give very good reasons because in this point, the dispute is not about the paternity of that child. It is not like a a third party coming to say I fathered Liam. And then they want to prove to that person because he's claiming to be the father as well. You are just coming based off that some people in the public say they want to know. It's so funny. Like sometimes when I say it, I laugh. Some people in the public say they want to know the father of that child, or they didn't give me placenta. I don't see any judge that would entertain that. And I think they know this. They know this that they don't even have the locals one. They don't even have a valid reason to go and get it. This is why they are stolen because. If they know they have very good reasons, they would have rushed there to get it since. Hey, let's force this girl to do it. We'll get, we'll get the other. So this is exactly why they're stalling. One, they're not sure of the local standing that they have to go for it. Two, they don't seem to believe that they have a superior argument against women saying, okay, I'm not having it. What, what argument do you want to put forward for me to have it? That some people, somebody called very dark man says he looks like this you said he looks like like three people now so what exactly so if this one if we do this one why would you not come again and say he looks like another person or do you want to bring those ones to come and have that um, specimens taken to prove it doesn't make sense so they know this and i mean they are, the, the, lawyer, the people is speaking to our lawyers and they would have thought baba the best thing is for this girl to just submit if we go to court, I'm a Jack Ban. This is what I believe is why they haven't really rushed to the court. Do you think the DNA test is going to answer the question, what by my bad? The British baby, you go first. Thank you once again, Dark Class. I mean, if we are to look at it from from the angle of the police to start with, which is the basis um my basis on on this whole mobad matter of course has been um the investigation of the police and all that they have come up with and for me i cannot see anywhere in which uh, dna would help to support or give a clue to whoever by Mobad. To start with, there has not no motive has been established yet. In fact, no crime has been established to start with. I mean, because when they are uh, when uh, when they confirm, what I mean is, they have no, no one has been accused yet of buying Mobad. I mean, they have suspect, but they are not um, guilty yet until pronounced. So, I mean, how do we get to jump the gun to go straight into DNA when we have not even established that, okay, there's no trail, there's no trail to say that, oh, this and this happened and that was why, I mean, I'm not talking about the cut and join that we have on this cyberspace. Into the investigative team, they have not come up with such reasons that would de demand a DNA. So I see no correlation. There's, there's no building block. There's no foundation as to where DNA would support in, um, uh, in letting us know what or, or who is responsible for mobile spy. I mean, if we want to say that, oh, okay, does does it completely rule out Omar Wome? If you are saying she's a suspect, so does it mean that immediately the child is confirmed to be Mobad, Mobad's child, which we all know, of course, that it is? Does does that suddenly takes her out of your suspect list? I mean, their suspect list, not the police suspect list. So at the end of the day, there's no reason for it. There's no reason. It will contribute zero. It will contribute nothing. Uh, 
Yoruba will say, Obirin be more funny, Kone Koma Pani. So even to look at it on the basis of the Yoruba adage alone means that whether or not the child is confirmed to be mobile, it still doesn't establish nothing until there's a there's a trail there's a ground there's a foundation saying that oh because so 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 and so was happening somewhere yada 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 so because of that we want to confirm that maybe this is the motive and at this point nobody has even come out to say oh the child is mine then maybe they will try to link the person coming out to claim the child to the crime and say let's confirm you know that there's just no basis for it in in my summary no basis for it it will it will prove nothing it will establish nothing thank you okay thanks for that ifa you have the floor um we still have more questions to go around so ifa please let's go okay good evening everyone um for me i did not see any reason for that dna because had it been mobad has doubted um liam's paternity when he was alive or there's any uh, written documents on that or there's any argument on that when he was alive between him and Wumi, or there's any fight any fight has come up on uh Liam's paternity, maybe Mubad has suspect anything when he was alive and two or three people has heard about it, or someone has been coming around to talk about to talk about Liam being his own child. So if that has happened before Mubad passed away, okay, we can say okay, DNA is needed. Mm -hmm.